Hello, beautiful soul. My name is Angie Beats, and I'm a clinical psychotherapist specializing in eating disorder treatment. And I wanted to talk with you today about the new film, To the Bone. I actually didn't have any intention of watching it, and truthfully, it's because, one, I had an eating disorder and recovered, and two, I treat people with eating disorders all day long. So if I'm going to watch a movie or a documentary, I Typically, I'm going to watch something that's more entertaining for me. Um, I think about it like an OB doctor. They're not going to go home and watch all the labor and delivery stories. That's just not going to be fun. However, I felt that it was prudent for me to watch it, given the fact that so many of my clients have expressed concern or interest in seeing it. And so I thought it would be useful for me to watch it to be able to have that dialogue with them in session. The other reason I wanted to watch it was because there has been so much hubbub in the eating disorder community leading up to the release of To the Bone, which is on Netflix. It, it aired this Friday for the first time. And really that all originated with the release of a two-minute trailer, and there was just a lot of concern about the impact of this movie, like what how would it impact people who are struggling or could potentially struggle with an eating disorder? Would it be triggering? Would it um, portray eating disorders realistically, like what treatment actually looks like, or the diverse range of people that struggle with eating disorders? And I've read so much of what people have been writing or um, what people have said in interviews recently. And then I watched the movie, and the thing that struck me the most that I really genuinely felt sad about is that Marty, the woman that wrote uh, the movie that's loosely, I guess, based on her own recovery story, um, she's a real person, and she's recovered, and she wrote a story about her experience, and... Um, it, it's a, just a little bit frustrating to me that there's been so much attack and judgment on that rather than all of us who are in the camp of recovered or in the field uh, treating eating disorders that we haven't really embraced her more and um, given her props for sharing her story. I mean, we all know the level of vulnerability that takes to be so disclosing. And you know, there's no such thing as perfect. We talk about that in session all the time. I am a recovering perfectionist. And so I guess when I saw the movie, yes, there were certainly things that I don't necessarily think match up in the treatment world today. Um, however, you know, when we, we look at this without such a black or white lens, I think that there was more accuracy than not. And the reality is, who are we to say what is accurate for her experience, because really that's all it was. It was her experience, her story, and I think we all should just embrace her for her willingness to put that out into the universe, as well as the lead actress who was in it, who also was recovered, and her willingness um, and her interest in participating in the film. So um, I also think that we live in a world where we are going to be triggered by damn near everything that crosses our path. So um, if this is something that you feel like will be triggering for you, just don't watch it. It's a choice. Watch something else on Netflix or don't watch anything at all. You know, we live in a world where triggers are rampant, whatever you're struggling with. So um, I want to say props to the people who created it and um, who were courageous enough to share their story. Take good care.